She calls me to interrupt my first dance to say, don't you wish you were as happy as me? Actually, I think I'm okay. I'm, I'm doing all right for myself, Bess. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. So far, we've posted just a couple episodes of a brand new legacy, so if you haven't seen those, I'm gonna link the playlist down below. This is only episode three, so you really haven't missed out on much. In the first part, I introduced my Sims. Last time, we climbed to the top of a mountain, and now today, we are going going to get married. Also, I loaded up the save unpaused and all of a sudden my kitten is aging up. So I guess we have to do that first because all of a sudden Betty is going to become an adult cat. We play on short lifespan in this legacy, so things tend to happen very, very, very quickly around here. And Betty has grown from a kitten into an adult cat, which is good because now she can actually climb up and down the stairs. Before she could not get up and down and she was trapped up here. I'm actually kind of curious to see what she looks like full grown. Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> I might go into cats and look. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so funny looking. Okay, we chose very well. We can also give her a collar and stuff now that she's actually grown. I think I might just get a little white collar and maybe we could give her an outfit. Wait, 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 should we give the cat a wedding dress so that she can come to our wedding ceremony later? I know that might be silly. I know I might be taking this a little bit too seriously, but wouldn't that be cute? Okay, Betty, I'm gonna dress you up. And actually, while I'm here in cast, I may as well dress up both of my Sims as well. We can pick out our wedding dresses while we're here. I can be so picky about my Sims wedding outfits. And to be completely honest with you guys, I actually recorded this once before. It took me ages to pick their outfits, but then my cat muted my mic and I didn't notice. And the whole video was ruined because it was silent. So luckily for you, we get to do this again. And it's gonna take me like two seconds because I've already decided what they're going to wear. So here's what I was picturing for April's wedding outfit. I loved the black dress because she pretty much wears only black for all of her other outfits. So I thought I'd try and continue that theme. And then I gave Dory this sort of lacy wedding dress, which I never ever use, and I don't really know why, because it looks really pretty. And miraculously, that took me like 20 minutes less than it did the first time I did this. So maybe it's actually for the best that the cat muted my mic and I had to redo the whole thing. But I was hoping that we could get married tomorrow, because we both have the day off work tomorrow on Friday. So I figured we'd go to work today, try and make some more money, and also maybe try and do some wedding prep, like buying a bouquet of flowers, buying the wedding cake, picking the venue, stuff like that. And then tomorrow morning, we can have the actual wedding. What are you both doing? Okay, we're kissing in the rain, cool. You have work at 10 a.m. and you have work at 1 p.m. Oh, yikes. That means we actually have a little bit of time this morning to do some wedding preparations. I know it's 8.30 and we go to work at 10, but maybe we could go to Tartosa now because I really want to buy a cake and flowers from the actual vendors. It's been a long time since I last really tried to have a proper wedding stories wedding and there's good reason for that because the wedding stories wedding is don't really work that well. But we have a big family, like both of these Sims have siblings and their parents and cousins and stuff that we can try and invite. So I feel like if I'm gonna do a big proper wedding stories wedding, now is the time. I'm gonna buy a little wedding bouquet. We can buy the cake from up here. Oh, it opens at nine. Oh, we're here early today. Work for April starts in about one hour. Yeah, 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 we'll go. Hold on, I'm busy first. Okay, so I'm not really sure what to do for the bouquet situation. I've never used this black rose one, so maybe I'll buy that. And maybe Dory can get white roses so they're matching but kind of opposite, like their dresses are. And then we can also buy a wedding cake. I'm sorry, is that Don Lothario? <laughs> Don Lothario is a wedding cake baker? And there's also a rampaging werewolf just kind of standing right there, cool. <laughs> okay, so I don't really know what cake to use. I typically tend to use the same ones. I like this heart wedding cake, and I've used this square wedding cake a lot too, but maybe I should try and pick something different. Like, I don't know if I've ever used this round wedding cake before. It's four tiers as well. Okay, consider the wedding cake purchased. Everything is all set up. Dory is really upset. <laughs> oh no. Do you want to come buy some food? Love day starts tomorrow. Oh my god. I didn't even know that tomorrow was the holiday. That's so good. We're gonna get married on love day. Okay, that makes this like 10 times better actually. Dory doesn't have work until 1 p.m. So maybe I could call up like our brother or something and see if he wants to be in the wedding. I don't know why I even bother with this because genuinely this game is so useless when it comes to those wedding roles. If you ask someone to officiate, they won't do it. <laughs> if you ask someone to be a sim of honor, it doesn't matter. Like none of the things actually make any difference gameplay wise. So it, I don't even know why I bother asking, but I like the story of it, okay? I like pretending 
that the sims are important, even if they actually aren't. So I'm gonna ask my brother to be the sim of honor. See, that's kind of cute. And hopefully he's happy about that. You did say yes, right? You didn't say no? Okay, honored wedding party. <laughs> I saw a little red thing, so I got scared. All right, before work, I'm also gonna go show you the wedding venue that I picked out. A long, long time ago, I built this really cute barn wedding venue up in Henford on Bagley. Of course, today has great weather and tomorrow's probably gonna suck, but here's kind of what it looks like. We've got a cute little wedding arch set up right here. There's just plants and tractors everywhere. On the inside, we've got a bar and some tables. Oh, I even already picked out a wedding cake. <laughs> Okay, well, I probably won't use that one because I did buy my own, but there's like a spot for a buffet. There's a spot for music and dancing. So it's kind of got all the things that we need. And I think we can get some pretty cute screenshots from right here. So that's sort of the plan. Of course, it's also spring. So the flowers look a little bit dead, but that's okay. <laughs> I guess I should just plan the wedding event, huh? We can organize a wedding ceremony. We have one sim of honor. <laughs> and then for guests, we'll invite like the whole family. We also have some friends that we can bring. We do need to be a little bit careful to not over invite? It would be very, very, very bad if we left any actual family members out. So I'm just triple checking again that I didn't miss anyone. Why do I feel like some of the cousins are missing from this list? Oh, Liz is supposed to be our couple friend. I shouldn't forget her. I have scrolled back up and down through this a million times. I think I've got everybody. And if we did miss someone, then I can just call them from the phone. I want to walk down the aisle. I want to have a first dance. I want to feast. I want a cake. I want to kiss. I'd also like to like have speeches and have drinks, but I just, I know that it's not gonna work. I know that they're not gonna do it. Oh my god, I pressed edit outfit and it loaded into cast. I didn't mean to. This is fine. I'll just switch it myself and then we'll do it here at I think 12 p.m. We'll do it at noon. Okay, the wedding is planned for tomorrow morning. Does that say Monday? I wanted to do it on Friday. What the heck? Oh, now it's on Friday. What on earth is going on? Okay, <laughs> okay, I don't know. That was really weird. I thought I did it on the right day, but then like the whole calendar messed up. I'm just gonna ignore that. The wedding is prepared. The wedding is planned. Everything is fine now. Oh, this Sim Angela is our fiance's aunt. I should probably come meet her. That's April's mom's sister. I know it's getting confusing. <laughs> There's a lot of Sims in this save because I've been playing with it for a long time. We kind of like started a new legacy Oh, you want to hang out tonight at the ancient ruins? I've got an hour before work. I might as well go. I've not been to the ancient ruins in ages. This sim baby is Dory's mom and she's a famous actress. Do you want to be a sim of honor? Or like, do you want to be the flower pal at the wedding? I'll let April invite her family too when she gets back from work. But you could be the flower pal or not because it's not actually talking to you. Okay, it's, um, it's not working. <laughs> okay, she's just going to work now. So never mind. That didn't work. <sighs> Just add it to the list, the long, long list of things from the wedding pack that don't work. So, movie rights. Dory's latest novel is burning up the San Myshuno Times bestseller list. The royalties from book sales have provided a steady income, but a phone call she just received could easily be her most lucrative opportunity yet. A producer from Plum Bob Pictures reached out to express interest in adapting her novel into a blockbuster film. The only thing is that we can't retain creative control over the final screenplay. I don't care. It's the the Sims 4. You can't control it anyway. 1,872 simoleons. That's good. That helps pay for the wedding, actually. <laughs> Let me put the cake away before I forget. Ooh. Oh, the cake is beautiful. Yeah, we'll use that for sure. April has two brothers, but she's got a twin brother called Arthur. So I think I'll ask Arthur to be in the wedding. Arthur, maybe you could be the flower pal at the wedding. Wait, it worked that time. Oh, good. Okay, so at least some of the family is involved. Super siblings <laughs> from a great relationship with an ally sibling. That's so cute. Okay, well, he's gonna be in the wedding. I can probably edit this now to have Silver as a Sim of Honor and Arthur as the flower pal. Okay, cute. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I was kind of worried about how it didn't work the first time, but this is okay. This is okay. The real Sim of Honor at the wedding is going to be Betty, obviously. Betty, can I ask where you're going? And all of a sudden you're back. That's fine. Okay. Oh, and now you're trying to eat my grilled cheese. Cool. <laughs> perfect, actually. Perfect. Oh my god, I can Simstagram Betty and the grilled cheese. That's actually perfect. You're throwing a charity benefit party? I don't know if I've ever been invited to one of those. I'm, I'm not kidding. I don't think I've ever gotten this call before. They just fixed a glitch like last week where the calls weren't working properly and all of a sudden I've been getting a lot more and a much wider variety of calls. I don't really have any desire to spend money at this charity benefit party, which I know sounds bad. I realize that I am quite well known for my charity streams on Twitch, but that's me, not my Sims. I kind of want to renovate the house, so like I don't really want to spend money on this. 
<laughs> Maybe I should donate. Here, here. I'll offer a 500 simoleon donation. Stop being so grumpy. I'm donating. I'm donating. It's fine. What charity is it? You say it's the charity benefit party, but like, for who? <laughs> what brings us here today? Oh, Dory got promoted. Okay, that helps actually. <laughs> Maybe I could donate again. <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay, well, that's enough then. I could probably go home. I'd like to have a nice evening at home before the wedding. Oh, the whole family's here. <laughs> this is my Sims vampire aunt, Barb. That's, uh, that's Dory's aunt. Obviously, Arthur is still here. Interesting. The cat is still on the counter eating the grilled cheese and apparently has been the entire time I was at the party. Why are you dazed? Creative fog from starting to burn out. Oh my god. We have to exercise some mental skills before it gets worse. Do you think if she uses this thing, if we like moon gaze, it'll help? You're in luck because you have a day off tomorrow, so you're not gonna have to worry about that too much. I actually don't think that this works. That's so annoying. But this is building logic skill. Oh! No, no, go inside! Oh my god, 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 Gin! Okay. <gasps> oh my god, the chances of the meteor almost killing us? I did it for like two seconds! I was like two minutes away from insta-death. It's coming right for me from using telescope. Okay, well, that was not my intention, just to be clear. I, I just wanted to get rid of the burnout. I have officially learned my lesson. I will not be using that anymore, don't worry. Oh, come scoop the cat's litter box and then you can go to bed. Um, my cat just attacked my brother and now the two brothers are hanging out. It seems interestingly enough. And he's back in the house again, playing on my computer at midnight. It's always very nice when the family comes to visit, but it's also very annoying when they refuse to leave the house. So <laughs> I'm glad they're gone so we can super speed through the night. This stupid burnout feature is so inconvenient. I think I might buy a chess table and put it upstairs. I guess we can just kind of stick it on the roof for now. Cause surely her playing chess will help with this burnout, right? I really, really, really don't want her to be dazed during the wedding. So I'm trying to hurry up and get rid of this moodlet. Oh my God. <laughs> And of course, of course, April is angry and having the worst day ever. So that's really gonna help us. That's supposed to last, what, eight hours? Cool. Super, 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 super cool. That's gonna be perfect timing for the wedding. I guess we can make some nice waffles. Please don't go knock over trash cans. Please stop. Try really hard to not ruin things today. I want today to go well really, really badly. So just maybe don't mess anything up. Ew, 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 ew. Poor quality apple waffles. Never mind. Don't even eat those. She was too grumpy to make good waffles. So now I have to eat leftovers instead. Dory still has four hours left of being dazed. This is horrible. Just forget it. Come use the bathroom, get some food. It's gonna be fine. Five hours left of being dazed. What is going on? I hate this. I hate, hate the burnout feature. It's so annoying. I have never once been like, oh fun, my Steam's feeling burnout. This is objectively a bad feature. This has made the game worse since they added it in. And my wedding starts in one hour. Oh my God. Okay, that's fine. I'll just get my cake out of the fridge. I'll put it in my inventory. <laughs> She's also having the worst day ever. Can you take a cold shower? Will that help? Okay, the wedding ceremony is about to begin. We'll head over there. I'm gonna try so hard to make this be perfect, okay? I'm gonna do every little thing right and it's gonna be good. We'll walk down the aisle, we'll get photos. Everything about this is gonna be totally and completely fine. If we just keep saying that, maybe the game will actually cooperate. Okay, here's our wedding cake. I'm still very angry. Am I allowed to cheat this away? Can I give myself that? Can I just have this little thing? Can I just cheat those away with UI cheats maybe? Let's, let's pretend that I didn't do that. Oh my God, look you guys, she's not mad anymore. <laughs> That's great. What perfect timing. It's everything's fine. I'm gonna give people a few minutes to show up here today. Okay, first what I'll do is call the guests to take their seats. Come along everyone. Please come sit down on my benches. Oh, okay. Um, Arthur is sitting in the middle of the aisle. So that's, that's perfect. So first I'm gonna send down two Sims, Dory and April together. We'll go stand up at the front of the aisle. Okay, here we go. We're gonna walk right through our brother Arthur and there, okay, our other brother is standing in the middle of the aisle too. You guys, I just, <laughs> this is the problem with the wedding pack. Like you just, it can't, it can't go right. It doesn't go right. All right, they walked up. Now I'm gonna send up the flower pal. Is that, oh my god. <laughs> her mom, her mom 
you showed up in a wedding dress and not just any wedding dress it's the same wedding dress that i gave to april hold on hold on hold on sorry 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 i can fix this it's fine it's fine you guys it's fine look look she's wearing a totally different not wedding dress now it's totally fine it's totally fine oh my god i sent him the wrong way he's going the wrong way down the aisle Okay, I pressed the wrong button. He went backwards. No, he's- oh, he's going back again. Okay. Send up Sim of Honor Silver. Okay, here we go. Here he comes. Oh my god, he's going the wrong way too. <laughs> he's going the wrong way too. Okay, he walked up. It's fine. He walked up. Okay, next, let's exchange vows with an officiant and then kiss. Nope. All right, it's not gonna work. Let's exchange vows and kiss. Here we go, here we go. Oh, they're going up. Okay, do you guys have to be standing in the middle of the aisle like this? I asked you to sit down. Can you please sit down? I just wanna get some screenshots of my Sims. I'm actually begging you. I'm begging you to sit down. No, they're all getting into the aisle even more now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Take your seats. I pressed it again. Did that work? I can't even see the wedding because of you people. Ugh, okay. They're kind of out of the way now. Maybe I can get some better screenshots shots this way. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Lovely with the tractor in the background. That's perfect. And the pumpkins back there. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Are you crying now? Oh, okay. Sorry. It's like happy tears. Sorry. 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 I got nervous. There's the other ring. Now they're going to kiss. Now they're going to kiss. Look. Okay. This was cute. By no means was it my finest moment. Oh, there's doves. Oh, okay. That actually went better than I thought it would. I That could have been worse. Okay. Yeah. By no means was it our best moment, but it wasn't bad either. I've had worse weddings in The Sims 4. Oh, okay. The UI is glitched. <laughs> so you can't scroll because the UI is glitched. So that's really good. Cool. Cool. Okay. Do you want to come cut the cake? Ceremony activities. Feed cake to April. Should we try that first? Come on. I wanted them to cut the cake together, but I guess that's not going to happen. So <laughs> that's okay. I'll just use this one. I'll run all the way back. I'll try and feed her a slice of the cake. I always think this interaction is really cute. I like it. I also like when other sims get in my way and block the whole thing. I, I didn't want to see. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to have a first dance now? Have first dance with April? Okay, we're all eating cake. At least that worked correctly. They did all come and sit down to eat the cake. So while they eat, we can have our first dance. Please, 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 please. Oh, here we go. I'm getting a phone call from Bess. And she says, do you wish you looked as happy as I do on my wedding day? She calls me to interrupt my first dance to say, don't you wish you were as happy as me? Actually, I think I'm okay. I'm, I'm doing all right for myself, Bess. They won't dance anyway. Oh, oh, they're dancing. Oh my god, false alarm. Sorry, you guys. They they actually will dance. Oh, we get to watch it. See, this is fun for me because I sort of have been preparing for this moment ever since these people were born. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna have a let's play crossover when they grow up. Is that it? Are you serious? The moment I prepared for this whole time. It lasted like two seconds. Okay, okay, okay. Well, anyway, I did like a legacy challenge. Then I had the generations thing with the growing together pack and I thought it'd be cool to have the crossover. So I've been like preparing emotionally for this moment for a long time and it's really fun for me to finally get here. I'm actually gonna buy a tripod and a fancy camera because I'm gonna see about trying to get some nice photos taken of them. Oh, going into build mode fixed the UI. <laughs> That's good, I guess. Okay, we can hopefully get some wedding photos together. It seems like it might work. Is she coming over? No, she's not. She's actually just standing there. Okay, cool. <laughs> please, please, can you come take a photo with me? I'm actually begging you. I don't need to have a lot of photos. I just need to have like one photo. Maybe two so we can have one with the parents as well. No, no, come back. Come back. Ugh. <laughs> she ran away as soon as I clicked it. What are you doing? I just want the wedding to work so bad and it never goes how you want it to. We're identifying goldfish instead of taking the wedding photos that I wanted. Oh, there's a bunny. Oh my God. Maybe gossip with it. Forget it. You can't get a wedding photo anyway. Hold on. It might work this time. It's it's 9 p.m., but I think I finally got it to work. <gasps> oh my god, it's a miracle. It actually worked. Okay. See, this is nice. This is going really well. I'm actually like really, really surprised and impressed by this. I didn't think it was going to be possible to get decent photos, so I'm really happy right now. Okay, good, good. I got a handful of pictures. I think some of our parents have left because I, I can't get photos of, of the full group because <laughs> they're not all here right now. I'll try anyway and see what happens. 
friends. I tried to get some people to come in, but it looks like they're not all gonna do it. August is kind of just sitting there instead of coming over to the photos. Oh, okay, it's over now. Okay, <laughs> that's really cool. This went like so well, you guys. That was perfect. It went exactly how I wanted it to and nothing went wrong at all. Am I ever gonna have a Sims wedding that doesn't go badly? I swear, it's better to not have wedding stories. I don't understand how it can still be so bad. I actually, I have to leave. <laughs> I can't be here anymore. I would have had a better wedding if I just used the base game wedding setup. Oh, and I forgot to bring my cat. I wanted to bring my cat and then I forgot. That just makes it even worse. I gave the cat a whole wedding dress for no reason. Okay, well, I do have some photos that I can update over here. We have some really lovely wedding photos now, so I'll add those into the gallery wall. I took one large photo too, so I could probably put that up. I like having photos of my Sims. I think it helps. It makes the house seem a little bit more lived in. I guess they can just go woohoo or something. I don't know. We didn't even get an appropriate love day. I didn't even finish this stuff. <laughs> That's actually kind of bad. We had a whole wedding and I still didn't get the love day tasks accomplished. You want to give flowers and go on dates? No, no, I can do that. I can do that. Hold on. Um, give romantic gifts. I forgot about the bouquets. Oh my God. I bought the bouquets and I didn't even use them. I knew I was missing something. That didn't even count as giving flowers, by the way. If I offer a rose, does it count as giving flowers? Oh, it does. Oh, good. Okay. You can both do that then. You were my heart, my soul, my treasure, my today, my tomorrow, my forever, my everything. Oh, that's kind of cute. That just then with the exchanging of roses was better than any single part of the whole wedding ceremony. That was more romantic than anything else we have done all day. But we're married now, so that's good. We had a nice wedding. It didn't really go exactly how well I wanted it to, but we had a nice wedding. We had a nice love day. I kind of would like to have kids soon because we're playing on a short lifespan. They age up into adults in eight days, so we kind of have to move quick. But I'll probably save that for next episode because there's only so many major life changes that a person can handle in just one part. The wedding was enough. <laughs> this big giant wedding was definitely enough. Oh, look at my cat asleep on the tree. That's so cute. I love Betty. Betty's the best character here. Betty can do no wrong, unlike the rest of these people. We're not gonna have a honeymoon because I spent the whole first two episodes climbing a mountain on vacation so they don't get to have a second one. We can just go straight back to work because I want money so that I can upgrade the house a little bit. You may have noticed a couple things are um, back to how they were before in the house and that's because I had a whole game crash situation. I had to redo everything. I had previously updated the kitchen a little bit but I'm actually gonna just redo that once I renovate the rest of the house. I'm thinking that we could try to steal a little bit of space from next door. We can like buy next door and then try to add in an extra bedroom and things like that over here. So I'll save our money and we'll fix and upgrade things once we've got a little bit more next time and I guess we can maybe try to have a kid next time. So stay tuned for that. I will link the playlist down below if you want to watch back the first two episodes so you're caught up to speed. And hopefully you enjoyed today's part. I know that watching the wedding stories pack is really painful, but hopefully it was still fun and maybe kind of cute to you. I don't know. It wasn't fun or cute to me. It actually just made me feel kind of sad, but I tried. I tried. And on that note, I'm gonna go and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh my God, the wedding pack is so painful. And what makes it worse is that it's actually better than it was before. Like somehow that's better than it was when it released, but it's still this bad.